Hello, hello, hello. God bless you and thank you for joining. Today is an awesome day. I was talking to my son earlier and he asked me to do a teaching. So I'm going to credit him to being motivated to do this today. It's great when we have people that inspires us, that believes in us, that loves us. It makes all the difference in the world. And for those who write to me and comment on my YouTube channel, I really honestly thank you. In building this out, I would like to ask you for a favor. Please like my video. Please subscribe to it. If you like it, the algorithm for it built and it runs more. And the longer it runs, the more people it gets out. And I believe in this day and age, the Word of God needs to get out to nations. And this is my way of making a difference. So thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for being here today with me. And please come back. I'm going to do more. If I had a title for this, basically, it would be The Renewed Mind. The Mind of Jesus. I say many times be like Jesus, but in order to be like Jesus, you have to be able to think like Jesus. And in order to think like Jesus, you have to read the Holy Bible and you have to make it your own. In Romans 10, 17, it tells us, so then faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. And it takes faith, folks, to move mountains. It takes faith, folks, to go out there and do sign miracles and wonders. So we have to put on the word of God. And that's what I'm going to be covering today, the renewed mind. Okay, the mind of Christ. And it's the having the mindset of Jesus Christ. What makes successful people successful is their mindset and their ability to get things done. With that being said, take your Bible, Romans 12, 2, and let me read to you, please, what God has to say. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So how do you renew your mind? In my teens, I was a drug addict. I started at 13, and I stopped when I got busted and was facing five to ten years imprisonment. And I needed a life-changing come Jesus moment. And that was my time when I was in jail, waiting for my trial so that I could be sent off five to ten years in prison. Folks, I had no hope. I was doomed. I was a habitual offender. The, I lived in a small town. They knew me, and they were going to put me away to make an example of me. How do you escape something like that? Well, for me, the way I got out of it was two things. I credit God, and I credit reading the Word of God. And I said, God, please, and I credit it three, prayer. Prayer can alter anything, people. Anything, anything. God can work, move mountains if we pray, if we have faith, and if we just believe, God can do. So you need the mindset of Jesus to do these things. Peter, Jesus was walking on water. Peter said, hey, can I come join you? And then he started walking toward Jesus in the on the water. And then he, he started sinking. And Jesus reached out in his hand, lifted him up. And then he walked on water too. That's the way God is with us. He lifts us so that we can do the acts that Jesus Christ did. In Romans chapter 13, verse 14, but put you on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You put 
on the mind of Christ. Okay, you put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that amazing? But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we that's how we become more than conquerors. It's about being like Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Having been a street evangelist and a missionary, you go out and you go, anybody who has legs, you want to approach them and you want to save them, see them be saved, and you want to minister to them. And in order to do that, you have to be like Jesus. Because one thing people need is life more than abundantly. Jesus Christ came to give us that. So we are their answer to what they're crying out for. So we have to be like Jesus. Go out there and deliver the message so that people are saved. Be like Jesus. Romans 12, 14 tells us to put on Christ. Ephesians 4, 22 tells us to put off the old man. Ephesians Chapter 4, verse 22. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. You put off and you put in your brain cells the thoughts of Jesus. How would Jesus think? In this situation now what would he do how would he think because the way we think delivers how we are being Ephesians 4 23 tells us to be renewed in the spirit of our minds Ephesians 4 23 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind by putting on the Word of God, by reading it, by hearing it, it builds our faith to be like Jesus. If we are not plugged into the source, we can go out there and do all that we can do to be like Jesus, and we are going to be doing nothing, getting, getting nothing accomplished. I've been there. I've been there trying to do it by myself. It doesn't get it, get anywhere. It doesn't deliver anything. But when I'm going out there with Jesus, Jesus, I need your help. And remember, you say, how can I be like Jesus? That's silly. Oh, is it really? Because in Colossians 1.27, it tells us that when we are born again believers, when we have accepted Christ as our Lord, as our Savior, that we have Christ in us us the hope of glory christ in you christ in me we are the temple of the living god the living god you got it yeah we are and ephesians 4 24 tells us to put on the new man put on being like jesus and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Folks, you're holy. Me, I'm holy. I'm a holy man. Philippians 3.13. I'm being kind of silly, but I'm just trying to make a point. 3.13. But what I'm being silly about is true. 3.13. Philippian brethren. I count not myself to have apprehended. But this is one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind. We can learn from them. We can, but we don't have to hold them in our face. I was a drug addict. In fact, for me to change, I had to leave my town that I was living in. Because everybody knew me as a drug addict. It doesn't did not give me room to become like Jesus. Oh, there's Richard the drug addict. Yeah, look at him. What a loser. Yeah, what a loser I was. Honestly, that's true. Because I wasn't being like Jesus. 
forgetting those things which are behind and reaching unto those things which are before. We reach for those things that are before. I'm reaching to be like Jesus. I want opportunities, God, to pray for people. Please, Lord, give people in my footsteps, people who want a man of God to pray for them. Please, God, bring them to me. Philippians 3.13 just said that, but Colossians 3.10, let's go there. Colossians 3.10. And I have put on the new man. You know, you put on the new man. You put on Jesus. You let Jesus Christ not possess you, but you, you follow his guidance. You follow the rules. You, you know, you just let... I'm not out there smoking cigarettes anymore. I quit cigarettes because I wanted to be a good example of a of Jesus. When I go out there and preach, I don't want to be talking to somebody about Jesus while I'm smoking. Hey, look what a hypocrite you are. I don't even give them opportunity to entertain it. I was smoking a pack and a half a day. I said, I quit. And I quit. Bam! Like that. I said, I'm not doing drugs in it anymore. Bam! Put on the Christ. What gave me the strength? Put on Christ. Be like Jesus. That's what gave me the strength. To be the minister that I am. I knew if I was doing drugs or if I was smoking or if I was living an unrighteous life, how can I call people to the Lord Jesus Christ as an evangelist, missionary, doing those things? I can't. People won't listen to me. So all I'm asking you to do, folks, is put on the mind of Christ, and then you'll see the transformation that you so want. Then your marriage will change. Then your prosperity will change. Then your relationships will change. Everything will change around you because you have Jesus in you, and you're letting him out of you in the sense of you're acting like him and being him in that sense. God bless you. Thank you for joining. And please come back. And please, again, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.